Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Gaffer and Gear. In this week's video we're going to be talking about HSI mode. I'm going to explain what it is and how it works because HSI mode is a very, very common colour mode in most LED lights these days. So what is HSI? Well HSI is a colour mode and it's pretty standard amongst most RGBW lights. So to give you some idea of what it's capable of, let's have a look at this colour map. On this colour map is every single colour that an RGBW light can generate using HSI mode. Okay, so what does HSI stand for? Well, it stands for Hue, Saturation and Intensity, which are your three parameters of adjustment. So let's have a look at Hue first. Basically, Hue refers to the colour that you're dialing into the light. So I'll just get that up uh, on the unit here. So we'll start right at the beginning at zero. Now there are 360 colors to choose from. So we'll start here at zero and go around the wheel. As you can see, the color changes with the numbers, no real surprise there. But watch what happens as we get closer to 360. You'll see that we start to get back into the reds. In fact, 360 and zero are the same color. 360 and zero are primary red. So what's happened there is we've gone full circle back to where we started. Now let's have a look at our color map again for HSI. Now this time you probably noticed that it's a circle. Now our lights have 360 increments of adjustment for the hue or for the color. Now our circle has 360 degrees. So basically, if I overlap our degrees with zero starting at primary red, you will notice as I scroll through with the sky panel that the number directly correlates to the angle on the color wheel. So basically, when you're adjusting your hue, you're going around the color wheel. Now to make sure I'm not talking crap, let's just check things out. So zero degrees at the moment is primary red. So if we divide our circle into thirds, we should hit the other primary colors. Okay, so one third of 360 is, I really should have paid more attention in school, 120. So let's go to 120, and that should be green. I actually wasn't sure if it was green or blue, but I'm guessing it's green. 120 is green. Okay, so let's go another third around the wheel. I'll just get that right on 120, just for giggles. Let's go another third around the wheel. So that'll get us to 240 degrees. So 240 degrees should be primary blue, unless I'm talking complete crap. Okay, so 240 should be primary blue. Okay, and here we go, primary blue. Now these colors won't be uh, full, fully vibrant because I have a key light here washing things out. But as you can see there, it's a color wheel, very basic to go around it. Okay, now let's talk about saturation. Now, let's go back to our color map and have a look at the center of the circle. Now, the center of the circle is white. So basically, zero color saturation. The outside of our circle is where the colors are at their most vibrant or fully saturated. Now, the distance between the center of the circle and the outside of the circle is measured in percentage. This is our saturation. So basically, when you're adjusting your saturation, what you're doing is getting your colored light and reducing it and putting white light in or vice versa. So I'll just show you here on the sky panel. Okay, so at the moment we're at 100% saturation and it's completely blue light. Now, as I reduce the saturation, I'm increasing our white light and basically taking the color out. All right, so let's just recap. So you've got 360 colors that you can choose from and each color has up to 100 steps of saturation between that full color intensity and white light. Okay, so we've covered hue, saturation. That leaves us with one last increment of adjustment, which is intensity. That's basically just your dimmer knob, how bright your light is. So pretty simple there, really. Now, some areas where people trip up where I get phone calls from people who have rented the gear. So um, this, these are common mistakes. So you might have hired a light off me that has a HSI mode, you're trying to adjust the color and you're getting nothing but white light. 
So if that happens to you, it's really quite simple. You've got your saturation dialed down to zero. So just make sure your saturation is all the way up to 100 before trying to select your colors. You'll find that that makes things nice and easy. The, um, the other way that people trip up with HSI mode is in the bulk of lights at the moment, um, they desaturate to daylight to 5,600 degrees Kelvin. There are a few exceptions out there. I think DMG Luminaires, you can select your white color. Um, I think there's, there's another light, I can't remember which one it is, that you can select your color white. But at the moment, the vast majority of lights, including the expensive sky panels, only desaturate to white light. I hope that's made a lot of sense. I'm Andrew Locke. See you on the next episode of Gaffering Gear.